Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's talk about simplifying this expression. A few days ago, CyberMath made a nice video about simplifying this expression in three ways. And here I want to present another way to do it. It's a really short video here that we are doing. Okay, so now first we are going to rewrite this expression so that we are going to have two plus radical three and then we have a denominator. So we are gonna get the one so we can write it all over one. So this is our expression, right? And then now what happens is that I want to multiply the top and the bottom by four. Then you may say, how do we do it? Well, we just multiply the top and the bottom by four. Well, that's inside this outer radical here. So we are going to get what? We are going to get the square root of, well, two, plus, uh, two times four is going to be eight. And then radical three times four, we are going to get four radical three. Okay, and then all over, and then we get a four at the bottom. And so now what happens is that we are going to um, split the radical so that we are going to get the radical of a plus four radical three. And then in the denominator, we are going to get radical four, right? So we get square root of four and that will turn into a two. So we, we can just quickly write that step for now. Then we get a two here. And then you may say, but that's still a radical inside this radical here. Um, what happened is that I can, now next we can rewrite this four as two times two. So we get two times two radical three. And then so what happened is that I want to move one of those twos into the radical, into this inner radical here. And then you may say, how do we do that? Well, first we can actually just write it as, um, eight and then plus. Now this two, I'm just gonna keep it in the front and then this two, I can turn it into a radical four and then radical three. And then so denominator is still the two. Okay, so now then in this case, we can actually move it in. So we are going to get the square root of eight plus two times square root of 12. Okay, and then you may say, then how does that, help us improve that situation. Now, what happens is that we are going to think about how to manipulate this expression in here. Uh, the way that we are going to think about manipulating this expression is that we are going to also uh, break the eight up into two plus six. Okay, so two plus six. And then you may say, why do we want to do that? You will see that in a minute. Well, there was still the two here. And then this radical 12, we are going to write it as square root of six. Well, actually, let me put square root of two and then square root of six and then all over the two. <clears throat> and then you may say, okay, so, um, yeah, that's interesting, right? We have a two here. We have a six here. We have a radical two here, radical six here. Now, what really happens is that we got to recall something here. So <clears throat> let's just recall. Recall that if we have uh, a squared plus b squared and then plus 2 times a times b, we can actually factor that as a plus b and then quantity squared. Okay, now let's compare this expression on the left hand side with this expression that we have in here. So what really happens is that if you just think of the a square as a two, okay? And you can see that then the square root of two, it's actually just a, because when you square the a, you are going to get what? You are gonna get the um, square root of two squared, which is just two. So do you see what's going on here? If I try to match them, then I'm gonna get the two here and then I get the square root of two here. Now, let's continue. We have a six right here and then a square root of six right here. So if you think of that six as the B square and then so the B would be square root of six. So now if you just put those there, do you see that that form matches with this one? And then of course there was the, the the two that's there, right? So you can actually factor this expression into this a plus b and then quantity square. And so what is a? a is square root of two, b is square root of six, and then we can just put it as a perfect square. So that means we are going to just continue writing this. We have the square root of quantity and then, then 
let's fill in those blanks. So we have a two here. And then now what is this expression? This is radical two, right? This is a, so radical two. What about the other expression? This is radical six. And so you can see that this is a positive number and we have a square here, we have a square root, they cancel each other out. And so our final answer will simply just be radical two plus radical six, and then all that divided by two. And then we have finished.